Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato, and today we are having another look at an absolute classic. And today we are checking out the powder toy. Now, this is not really a game, to be honest. It's more... It's more just a, an open sandbox. You can do whatever you bloomin' well want to. I mean, down the side here, we've got a lot of uh, categories, and in each of these categories, we've got different little elements. Now, for example, in the liquids category, we've got water, oil, lava. I don't know, they're not so much elements, they're just things in actuality, but I think it's really, really cool. And, uh, you know, this is this is a this is a game. I say game with uh, with inverted commas around it. This is a game that I played a long time ago, and uh, honestly, I just I just build stuff and then just blow it up. I mean, that's what it's all about for me. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is this is it. I mean, we've got liquid diesel, and we can also change the 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 size of the uh, whatever you call it. What's that? The mouse pointer. That's the one. Uh, we've also got some some uh, some options for the for the graphics up here newtonian gravity ambient heat yeah whatnot and uh, and down here we can pause we can edit some options in here in case you're interested render options i'm sure if you know that's something you're interested in i have no idea what that is uh, you can log into the servers online and we'll talk about that and you can erase everything at the start and we can upload simulations to the server and the website and we can find and open new simulations which i will do in a minute but you know for example uh, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna you know build us a, a nice basic area so we'll put down a base uh, we'll give it some sides that's not how you do it so we'll erase the walls there we go we can't go small no this is the smallest uh, wall type that we can get okay that's fair enough all right up here along here and another thing you might be noticing is the resolution is a little bit uh, a little bit out. Oh, I missed a line there. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, yeah, the resolution's a little bit out. It doesn't run at uh, at 1920 by 1080p. So we're just gonna make do. We're just gonna make do. And to be honest, for me, this game has always been about the explosives. It's always been about the explosives. So you can get like a bunch of different types. You can get nitroglycerin, which is like TNT. So you mix with CLST to make TNT. And where's CLST? C L S T. All right. Well, let's get some nitroglycerin down. All right. There we go. Look at that stuff. And you know, straight straight off the bat, I'm gonna I'm gonna light this baby up. I mean, look look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. Also, if you hover your mouse over uh, the hot areas, for example, uh, if you look up here, you can see the temperature. So 422 degrees. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um. But I don't know C L S T. How do how do we make? I don't really know how we can make TNT. Um, but you know we'll give it a try. All right. So there's our little bucket. We can put some nitroglycerin down here. Okay, and then we can go to search and type in C L S T. Oh look! Look at that. C L S T. That must be clay, I presume. I presume that's that's clay. Uh, it'll be here somewhere. Uh, CLST. Clay dust. Yeah, I was right. Holy cow. Who would have thought? Me. Oh well. Uh, should we go and light this up on, on fire now? Should we see what should we see what happens? Okay, so this is just the clay dust. I'm not expecting this to catch fire. And to be honest, we're not actually going to see Yeah, we're not gonna see a difference between uh, the nitroglycerin and the TNT. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty intense that explosion. Uh, can we not? Yeah, we can place TNT directly, and so this is a solid rather than a, a dust particle, so to speak. Uh, so we can stick down a lot of this, and of course, light it up, boom, and it explodes. Also, fireworks. Fireworks are cool. I quite like fireworks. All right, there we go. Let's uh, let's get the light on. Now, fireworks are a little bit strange because I think they they only uh, they only light up if you light them from beneath. I think that's the case. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. So if we we do this, no, does that work? It sort of works. What if we what if we give it some uh, some nitroglycerin to uh, to help it along the way? Bit of TNT mixed in there with some clay dust. There we go. 
No, these fireworks are, are pretty uninspiring, I'll be honest. Um, this is like the destructive bomb. This just destroys everything. Oh, I suppose that made the fireworks work, didn't it? Oh my goodness, look at that. And we've got a, a handy frame rate up there in the corner. Right, a cold explosive set off by anything cold. Oh wow, this is really interesting. Alright, so this doesn't actually explode when we put fire to it? Oh my goodness. That's really strange. So let's go and uh, get something cold then, I guess. Liquid, what about liquid oxygen? Wow! That is really cool. I did not know that that was a thing. It might not even be a thing. I presume it must be a thing. But hey-ho. Wow, we've got the liquid oxygen out in force. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, what else is there? Um, so that's the explosives. We've got the sensors, which is like super, super complicated. Uh, you know, the electronics and the sensors and the powered materials and whatnot, that's for like really quite, quite clever people. Uh, pipe moves particle around once brick generates arrays for some event. Yeah, so you know, these are these are things that you can use to create really interesting sort of maps and whatnot, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. Uh, we've of course got, you know, the classic water. Classic water. Um, extinguish our fires at the bottom. Water, of course, evaporates, turns into steam. Pretty standard stuff, to be honest. Alright, let's let's scroll it up, and let's let's extinguish this. This fire should not be around. We need to get rid of it. Also, by the way, you can just right-click to remove anything. Apart from walls, you can't remove walls. You need to go into the wall tool to get rid of walls and to do the erase walls thing. All right, so um, what have we got? We've got explosives, which you looked at. Gases. Um, gases are pretty, pretty basic stuff, to be honest. I mean, there's not much to say. Steam. Uh, we've already got some steam around here. Plasma which is like, uh, plasma is running an electrical current through gas, I think, so it's sort of like a, a fourth element, I think. Noble gases, uh, yeah, this won't explode, I presume. No, this will just hang around and be annoying. Uh, we've got smoke created by fire, which is just hot, hot, hot smoke, I guess. Oxygen gas, yeah, cool. Uh, also, we can, uh, we can... We can erase everything, should we want to, at a moment's notice. Uh, carbon dioxide, we've got carbon dioxide, which probably won't catch fire, but hey-ho. Caustic gas acts like acid. Oh, wow, so will that, if we, if we put some water in there, will that make the water acidic? Oh, wow. Looks like we've got some pretty acidic steam going on right now. Oh, that looks pretty vicious. That looks pretty vicious. Anyway, what else have we got? Gases. Fog? Okay. Cool. Whoa, that's kind of nice. Rhyme. What the heck is rhyme? Uh, boil, a variable pressure gas. And hydrogen. Hydrogen combusts with oxygen to make water. Undergoes fusion at high temperature. All right. So, will this give us... I don't know how we get water from this. We probably need to... Do we need to run an electrical current through it? Perhaps? No real idea. No idea. No idea. I'm not, I'm not a scientist. No no claims to be. Uh, of course, we've got, you know, we've got the oil. We've got the water. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, look at the hydrogen go. Uh, we've got the lava. Lava's pretty cool, actually. Um, I probably should put some walls down, actually. Uh, just to show you what I mean. All right, let me just put some walls around here quickly. There we go. Perfect, and back to business. Where were we? Yeah, we've got lava. So lava basically cools, and it uh, becomes rock. And let's give you an example here. It's, uh, it's pretty basic stuff. All right. Yep, look, we're already seeing some rock over here. Yep, and now we've got, now we've got that. So acid, acid dissolves lots of stuff. It doesn't dissolve walls, obviously, because walls are, like, the boss. But it's dissolving... I think it's dissolving some of the stone there, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, distilled water does not conduct electricity. You know, there's a lot of stuff. You know, diesel and... You know, we got a lot of stuff here, right? Bizarre. No idea what that does. No idea at all. I don't know what half of these things do. I'm just, I'm just saying this because I think it's really awesome. Uh, and then we've got the virus. Virus is crazy. Virus, like, eats everything. It is very insane. It just it just gobbles everything up. 
It's uh, it's rather insane. It's rather insane, should I say? All right, let's get rid of all this nonsense. There we go. Get rid of all that. There we go. Get rid of all that. All right. Now we've got powders. This is you know the, probably the the quintessential area, I would say. So we've got concrete, sand, fuse powder. Fuse powder is really interesting, actually, because what we can actually do is uh, is you know it 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 works like a fuse. It's not. It's not exactly the fuse because the fuse is actually something else, um, but it works like a fuse, so it's quite cool. Sweet. All right, uh, moving on, we've got some snow. In case anybody's interested in uh, some snow. No, nobody's interested in snow. Snow, of course, turns into water when it's heated, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, you can see the temperature is cooling down here, and it's going to start to freeze. The water is going to start to freeze. How cool is that? I think that's pretty epic. That's awesome, isn't it? And you can see as the temperature goes down and it decreases, and when it hits zero, it'll freeze over. How epic is that? Wow, that's epic. Now, my favorite area is probably the radioactive area. I think that's really cool. Um, so what we've got is we've got, you know, a whole bunch of uh, subatomic particles going on here, or subatomic... Subatomic particles, I think they are subatomic particles, but for example, we've got protons, which are pretty cool. They look awesome, and they bounce off things. That's amazing. Uh, we've got electrons as well, you know, which uh, go around the outside of the atom. And I have no idea what they're doing, but they clearly... They've got a lot of energy, I think. Not really sure. Uh, we've got isotope Z, radioactive liquid, decays into photons. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got uranium which generates heat under pressure. It's also pretty cool. And um, plutonium as well, which generates heat under pressure, generates neutrons under pressure. So, you know, again, lots of cool stuff going on here. Uh, antimatter. I think my favorite must be um, a singularity. I mean, let's, let's put a singularity down, for example. All right, there we go. Now, a singularity, theoretically, sucks everything towards it, and it just all disappears. All right, so look, the singularity is down there, sucking in everything, and now it's gone. Yeah, so pretty much everything was sucked into that singularity. If we paint it a little bit more, then everything will go away. So I think this is a really great tool for cleaning cleaning up your uh, your palette once you're uh, once you've done. All right, there we go. I like how it sucks it in on each other. I think that's really cool. I mean, it just all disappears. Really, really awesome. Uh, we've got some special stuff down here. So air vents, portal in, portal out, smart particles, travels in straight line, avoid obstacles. Really rather complex stuff that you can do. Game of life. No idea what this is this is going on here. Um What the heck? What the heck is this? Yeah, absolutely no idea what's going on here. Really, really rather weird. Oh my goodness. This is the trippiest nonsense I think I've ever seen. And it's tanking the frame rate as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get a singularity. Will a singularity clean this up? No. No, it will not. We're going to need to do it manually. We'll need to do it manually, guys. Alright, and quickly, because it seems to be growing back. Like an infestation. Oh no. No. Oh my goodness. How do we deal with this? Alright, I'm just gonna have to keep on scrolling up the size of the size of this box. You can hear me probably right now. Just uh Alright, will that do? No. Stop. 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 It, you, it just won't stop. It won't stop. Alright, screw it. Erase everything. Erase everything. So yeah, I think you can see now uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of really interesting stuff. Heats the targeted element, cools the targeted element. You know, you can do pretty much anything. And there's some decoration tools as well, which you can also do. You can paint stuff and whatnot. And it's really quite quite cool. Um, but probably the most interesting part uh, of the game for stupid people like me is, uh, is, is the online area. Now, that's really cool. Um, so, for example, you've got these nuclear reactors. Now, nuclear reactors is something that I... I think works really, really well in this game. For example, let's uh, let's open up this one. I did have a look at this one earlier, so I think it's really, really cool. We'll unpause the simulation, and now you can see 
you know, this thing is rather fantastic. So, uh, you know, most of these things require a spark at the start to get started. All right, so we'll turn it on. And look at this, look at this. You've got a little light thing going on here. You've got the uranium coming down here. You've got the, uh, whatever you call it, the, the neutrons that come in and they generate the heat. And the steam goes up here, heats the water, and then it goes over here, blah, 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 blah. And it'll come down here. And then hopefully we'll sh we should be seeing some power I mean, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it's it's heating this, and then it's uh, powering the turbines, and that's going through the the power network, and that's going over, and it's heating the little home over there. I think that's the coolest thing in the world. I think that is awesome. And you know, the the water it comes, the steam comes down here, presumably gets cooled over here, and then goes back in, and the process begins again. You know, we've got this uranium thing that's going on over here. I think this is awesome, you know? Um, but I also question, you know, what would happen if we if we snuck in a little bit of C4 into this area? And, uh, you know, that's not something you really would want to think about in reality. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. Like, if you can, you can blow up uh, sort of nuclear reactors and whatnot. Um, obviously, that did nothing, and that was highly disappointing. We put a spark in there. We put some TNT in here. No, nothing Nothing of real interest is happening, I'm afraid. I mean, we're not being very creative with our destruction methods, but, uh, you know. All right, that did, uh, that did cause some stuff to happen. I mean, it looks like the containment chamber has sort of been, has sort of been destroyed, but, you know. All right, let's, let's do some more painting. Boom, boom, boom. See, I think this is just so cool how you can just <laughs> just just do anything you want. All right, let's get some super destructive bombs out because they just wreck everything. There we go. Look at that. Now we're talking. It's just eating away at this concrete over here. Wow. The house, the poor house on the hill has been absolutely destroyed. Wow. The plants over here. You can also plant plants, by the way. Just an FYI for you. So, yeah. It's pretty awesome what you can do. And there's there's so much stuff. I mean, you know, there's a, a nuclear bomb that we can use. I mean, that's kind of kind of nice. Uh, let's go ahead and spark this. Spark it. Boom. Oh, no, we need to unpause, of course. Okay, we sparked it, and boom. That's just fantastic. Look at all those neutrons. I think that's amazing. Mini bomb. I'll spark that. And, of course, the V2 from World War II, which was uh, a German rocket. So it's got the little thrusters on the end there, and uh, and it will explode, hopefully. Explode? Please explode. Way, And it explodes after a, a certain length of time, so that's really, really cool. Um, but, you know, apart from that, there's like a bunch of other stuff. I mean, there's just loads of random stuff as well. I mean, for example, we've got the uh, the Apollo mission, which is like a detailed... A, well, if obviously, if we unpause it, then everything goes to, uh, then everything goes to crap. But, uh, you know, hey-ho, uh, we'll reset that. So, yeah, as you can see, this is like a detailed diagram of what happened on the Apollo Apollo mission. So, uh, you know, we got liftoff, first stage, second stage, and the uh, lunar orbit and docking and whatnot. That's really, really, really very cool. Very creative people that are doing this. Uh, but I like, you know, I'm, I like explosives. A realistic grenade? Wow. Spark on the pin once. Okay. Then spark on the spoon once. All right. Okay. Wow. That is rather cool. Wow. You know, again, kind of awesome, isn't it? It's kind of awesome what people can do. Um, Spaceships, explosive city. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Look at this. Oil, wood, oil, wood, TNT. Where do we spark it? Where am I going to spark it? We spark it up here. Or, in fact, let's, uh, let's do it with some fire. All right, uh, fire, 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 explosives, explosives, fire. Oh, we need to unpause, of course. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. I mean, the frame rate is, is terrible, but, I mean, it looks kind of amazing. Big Boom City, destructible. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. The Iron Giant, you know, a working missile launcher. Heck yeah. Fires working missiles. Every missile contains one particle of frozen sing. Very effective versus small targets. Make sure no particles get into the launcher. Else next missile explodes inside it. Oh no. 
I have no idea how this works. Uh, do we spark this area? I think we do actually. All right, let's try sparking it. I mean, as you can see, I'm just getting, whoa, my goodness. All right, is that the missile? Is that the missile there? Activate. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing. This actually, it's awesome. You know, I think you can. I think you can sort of see where uh, why I like this. I think it's really, really rather cool. What the heck is going on here? I have no idea what's going on. That guy's got a long tail. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is that? A piston? Okay, well, whatever, as long as we hit our target today. Wow. Wow, that is quite phenomenal. Wow, I like that. And, uh, and yeah, you know, there's loads of stuff that you can just, just do. It's crazy. I mean, what is this? Okay. Uh, no idea what this is at all. Um, but... Oh, look at this. It's a city builder. It's an automatic city builder. Wow. Would you look at that? No idea how this works. But it clearly does. See, this is, this is far too complicated for, for a scrub like me. But yeah, I think you, I think you sort of, you sort of get where I'm coming from. This is, this is kind of awesome. This is kind of awesome. This whole thing, and you know, the ability to do absolutely anything, and uh, and have a look at all of the stuff that people have done, I think is really awesome. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, just a place to test your bombs. Oh wow, look at this. So if this is, all right. So wait a minute. All right. Weak, what is this, a snow bomb? Okay, so the further it goes through, the further it goes through, the uh, the better the explosive is. Okay, okay, I can de I can get down with that. So let's, uh, let's test out some C4, why not? Okay, what did that do? Oh my goodness, that was pitiful. That got to three, I got a fail, oh my goodness. That's rather disappointing. All right, um... What about if we use some destructible bombs? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to do well. That didn't even do that well, to be honest. I mean, light this more on fire, perhaps? Eh, I got a wow. Just a, just a normal wow. Level 7. How the heck am I going to do this? I mean, radioactive nonsense? Some of these bad boys, neutrons in. Well, neutrons get uh, get very far by themselves. Some plutonium, perhaps. Oh wow! Oh my goodness, that is just melting the layers, isn't it? Holy cow! Holy cow! So I reckon, right? I reckon what you could do to do this. All right, let's let's think about this in the logical manner. So let's create, like. Uh, a missile launcher okay so I know that's pretty bad I know that's terribly bad Um, but what if we did that it's still paused at the moment so that's fine what if we did that and then we put some plutonium in here okay lots of plutonium this will of course go sandy as soon as the uh, as soon as the game is unpaused. All right, that goes there. Stick some neutrons in here. All right, and then we shall stick some nitroglycerin or, you know what, nitroglycerin or uh, or C4 in there. That's fine. And, uh, and some fire at the bottom when we light that. And no, my, my well laid plan did not really come to fruition, unfortunately. Well, you know, it did It did not badly. I mean, what is this, a wow? Okay, you know, I can get behind that. I mean, it's still going, it's still pretty hot, so it could could still theoretically get through this. Hmm. Gold. Tungsten, wow. This is, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good, actually. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
thank you very much for watching. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. Hopefully, you'll tune in next time um, for some more, some more random stuff. Um, but yeah, until then, bye.